Hi there friends, welcome back to Dream Farm. I'm Alex and today we have a question from Tina in Long Island. Tina writes, hey Dream Farm, I have been looking at your sapoon for a while now as I've used a wooden sapoon all my life. Can you tell me how your sapoon is better than my wooden spoon? Heck yeah we can Tina. Okay, the first thing you'll notice about the sapoon is it's nice and deep. The other thing you'll notice is that your sapoon has teaspoon and tablespoon measurements built into it. The wooden spoon of course does not. Now that's awesome for things like milk and cream and fish sauce, soy sauce, olive oil, whatever you might be putting into your uh, recipe there, you can measure it into your sapoon and then use it to cook as well. So there's no need to get a teaspoon or a tablespoon out for uh, measurement, uh, measuring spoons out with your sapoon. The next thing of course is resting. So you've come along and you've mixed, this is our amazing bolognese here, you've mixed your bolognese sauce and when you put it down, of course with your sapoon with the cool bend in the handle, what it's going to do is it's going to sit up off the counter so you don't get mess on your countertop. The wooden spoon here of course doesn't have that clever bend in the handle so as I'm working it around I go to put it down and of course it's going to get mess all over the counter. Now I hear people saying well, why don't you just use a spoon rest? Of course you can do that but then you've got another thing to find in the cupboard when you go to cook and you've got another thing to go and wash up. So measuring and resting, the next thing of course is scooping. Spoon is nice and deep so you can get in and get a lot into your spoon when you're serving out your bolognese sauce onto your pasta or whatever your amazing creation might be. The spoon here of course is shallow so it's not going to pull out as much when you're serving out. Now the coolest thing about the spoon is because again with that silicon scraping head the sides are squishy so it can conform to whatever shape of pot, pan, whatever you might be trying to scrape out which is especially awesome if you're baking. Now Excuse me, I wipe that on my pants. Mummy, you would be ashamed. Okay, so now this is just a little experiment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some sauce all over this plate here. All right, now I'm gonna scrape it back into with my wooden spoon. Of course, imagine if that is something so yummy that you wanna get every last little bit. Well, you can't really do it too well with your wooden spoon. Bring on the spoon and we can scrape every last little bit. Actually turn it on its side, it's even better with that, that squeegee sides to it. And you can scrape absolutely every last bit of awesomeness out into your plate. So there you have it. Not only is spoon better than a wooden spoon, I would say it is the greatest cooking spoon on the planet. So I hope that answers your question, Tina. If anyone else has any questions about Dream Farm or any of the stuff we make, please get in touch with us over Facebook or go to dreamfarm.com. Until next time. Take care.